I know a lot of you out there, parents are trying to figure out how to talk to your own kids about what they're seeing in the news, about what's probably being talked about at their own schools today. We're here to help us navigate that conversation. It's clinical psychologist, Dr. Jeff Gardier, friend of ours around here. Jeff, it's, it's good to have you on this. But it, yeah. You know, I think I, I made the mistake with my uh, third grader yesterday. You, you said, parents, you need to first deal with your own emotions. You need to yes. deal with your own yes. before you try to move yes. on to the child. Why is that so important? Well, because you are really setting the example, right? Mm -hmm. Our kids are studying everything that we do. And so when we're able to process our emotion and approach this in a calm manner, mm -hmm. but being really genuine about what you have to say, it really shows the kids that, first of all, that we really do want to communicate. Secondly, we are going through our emotions, but most importantly, they can have their emotions too. Their sadness, the fear, Dr. Sutton, you talked about. All of those things are important to allow them, to show them how to express that, but in a way that is positive and that is useful. You've also said that we need to talk about the heroes and, the, and, and those who have helped. Can you mm -hmm. explain more about that? Well, in every tragedy, we know that if we just stick with the things that are so horrible, what are the lessons to be learned? And here we're seeing that one of the teachers, for example, you know, was certainly trying to protect mm. the children. We know that law enforcement, the women and the men who are out there, you know, did an exceptional job in trying to protect the kids. The school did that. So it's important to find that silver lining and show them that, yes, even in the face of tragedy, it is so important to give credit to those who have actually done very positive things and who have put their lives on the line because it is about bravery and courage. And to that point, and I'll stick with Sabine because as soon as I got this news, I went from where I was directly to school to pick her up. And when I started talking to her about it, first her response was, why can't we make it so that police officers are the only ones who have guns? Mm -hmm. Now that's a very innocent and simplistic uh, response uh, from a child. But on the larger scale, what is all this doing? We can do all we can as parents and every, all the advice you have. What is this doing to our kids coming out of, look, the pandemic, we talk about that trauma and what it's done to them, but to see this, what, what impact is this having on kids? Well, on top of the pandemic, which we know, right, good doctor, that our children have unprecedented levels of anxiety, right. depression, emergency room visits mm -hmm. uh, because of suicidal ideation. It really does have them uh, in a world that they view as being upside down, being emotionally unstable, a lot of fear. And that's why it's important now more than ever, we make sure that our kids get counseling in mm -hmm. the schools as well as taking their academic subjects and most importantly, that we let them know we will do our best. Our schools will do their best. Our community will do its best to make sure that we try to keep them as safe as possible because they need that reassurance, they need that love, and they need the hugs now more than ever. Oh. So love that baby, hug that baby when you go home. But I don't think I have to tell you that. Man, <laughs> to Jeff Gardier. Man, it is, you are always great in here great with us. Always good to have you. Over always make us years, feel better. Over the years. It's always, you always make us feel better, man. Really good to have you on this. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.